Allow me to be the first to say that I'm all for artistic expressions, but the aesthetic direction of this generation has taken a pathetic digression. Art is like most things nowadays. It's subjective. It's subjective. But we can all agree that it's objective is to be suggestive, so allow me to suggest this okay. as an artistian. Music is still an art, but hip-hop and R&B may soon need a mortician because it's dying. I am not lying. It's slowly losing its... <laughs> Heartbeat. We allow our artists to be artless as long as they do it to a dope beat. So to a nice beat, they talk more about bodies than biology. And we allow our kids to listen to this audio pornography. Yep. And then we wonder why teenage pregnancies and STDs are on the rise. Yes, I know you're wise and I'm not trying to fool you into making you believe that pornography can make you have sex, but it can school you and your school age kids. Listening to these rappers vividly describe how to sell dope in these streets. It's cool if they yell triple beans and bacon soda as long as they do it to a dope beat. After all, no man appeals to kids more than a snowman. Think about it. But this is art, and art is beauty. So will someone help me realize and regain my real eyes to help me see what's beautiful about these real lies? See, I thought real truth was beauty. I did not realize that yelling blocker, blocker, blocker to a tight beat would pave the way for the likes of Waka Flocka, somebody stop the ip -ip -ip music and inject the art back into it. But if they promise the artist high dollars and cents, it's no wonder they make something so senseless appeal to your senses. Perhaps it's not the track of the groove that's making you move. Might it be that foolishness is attractive to you? Or is it possible that your conscious has become so seared and sifted? That you don't realize that the beat is tight, but that the message has shifted. Oh I mean, if a painter painted the tainted message into a picture, I must ask, do you accept the picture of a raping because you like the color contrast? Mm. Do you accept the sculptings of a sculptor if all these sculpts is vain things? Well, you shouldn't accept the song just because the beat bangs. Mm. I acknowledge that you're wise, and I'm not trying to fool you. You already know that a bad message to a good beat can school you and your school-age kids. He said, you're too modest. He said if he had half my talents, he'd be singing and rapping all the time. I smiled and shook my head, but this is what was on my mind, is that I used to be like that. I used to be like that way back when I used to rap. I remember saying, I'm the reason Jay-Z is gonna part two with the black. And if you feeling like the lyricists, come and try and challenge me. I bet my bottom dollar, you gonna see what damage be. I knew for sure with ten hands, you couldn't handle me. I'll take your deal and have your manager to manage me. <laughs> see, when I spit it, it was so sick, it was so smooth that they felt like since Shy Rap had his groove back. But then smack, smack, I was popped over the top with an unpopular fact That I bought some cheap smelling pride that I needed to take back Cause it was stinking, it had me thinking I was big but I was shrinking I was sinking in the same ship that most people drown on It's called Ego Gigantic It's funny how that rhymes with Titanic It's a place where true identity has been replaced by a false sense of pride it's a ship that some of you all currently ride. You're so insecure in your self-image that you always have something to prove. You take on a superior attitude. You cannot serve because you don't want to show people that you're inferior. Yet your interior is as cold as Siberia. Makes me hot like Nigeria and disgusts me like bacteria. Because pride is an abomination. It's that thing. That thing that makes those who sing feel like as long as they do a... Ah, yay, 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 yay. They deserve a championship ring. Championship it's that ring. thing, that thing that makes poets and preachers forfeit their opportunity to teach us, designed rather to perform on microphones and stages when it was given to them so they could reach us. And pride is kin to frivolousness. It'll have you spending a hundred thousand dollars on a dress mm. or a diamond studded grill that looks a hot mess mm. and some. Just to boost your ego when you could have boosted a life because to me that sounds like someone's college fun Reminds me of those rappers who do things for no rhyme or reason Their rhymes have no reason. I rhyme for a reason. I rhyme in this time because I was designed for this season See truly knowing who you are and your purpose brings you back down to earth uh, Speaking of getting down the most infamous dude around took a towel and a bin of water and sat on the ground Began to wash his own servants' feet. As you can imagine, they frowned, saying things like, Why are you serving me? He replied, I didn't come to be served, but to serve others. So in other words, get, get like, like me. me. 
So that's why I'm modest. I simply aspire to inspire before my time on earth expires. That's the posture that allowed glory to sneak up on us. It was ridiculous how inconspicuous he was. Jesus, that is. He basically took a towel and a basin and redefined what greatness is. Humility. Anonymous class. Introduce yourself by your vice because we're all addicted at least to some degree. The first guy waved his hand. He said, Hi, my name is Narcissistic. My addiction is me. The second gal said, Well, I can't believe I'm in this class. My addiction is in a bottle, flask, or shot glass. And the third guy said, Hi, I'm TV and internet access. My addiction is to scoping out bodily assets. And then with a lump in my throat and legs heavy as lead, I said, I would like to tell my story. See, it was a miracle. That's why I wish that I could remember. 1985, the 12th day of September, a child was born. No one come on because it was so relieving to see 10 pounds and 2 ounces is what she was conceiving. You see, the doctors had told the parents that the child would have a physically mental or crippled childhood. But it had a praying grandmother who wasn't taking it. She prayed as soon as they said that I wasn't making it. Yeah, I, me shy. And if that's crazy, listen up. Here it goes. I was a crack baby. No, I never knew my mother in her natural state. And that alone holds me down like a Paperweight. That's a big puzzle piece missing out of my life And I'll never know my father just to add to the strife And though no one goes the extent that a real parent goes I chose to be grateful because I had something close Trina and Rose, I went to live with them in Holland Hills That's probably why you used to hear me yelling Holland Hills Holland But back Hills. to what I was saying about the parents that didn't rear me They were likely both addicts, so Mr. Addiction was near me Somewhere lurking in my DNA for a perfect chance to steer me And clearly he got me, he tripped me, I fell He said from age 6 to 14 you've been addicted to biting your nails. I'm in you. You bite them incessantly. When you do it, I feel you next to me. That's what Mr. Addiction said. Needless to say, I stopped. And although it wasn't drastic or life-threatening, you could bet that anything that reminded me of those parents that didn't rear me, although I loved them dearly, I wanted nowhere near me. Because after all, I was theirs. I was small. I was cute. I was something to adore. You would think that they want more and more and more for me. Or I had the slightest meaning to them like a morphine. Me. But nah. So from ages 15 to 18, I spent ducking peer pressure like a dodgeball, trying to be overlooked by anything that sounded like being hooked. Age 18, I found Christ, which means I found conviction, which means my old habits found eviction notices, and I noticed this became my new addiction. Peace became my pipe. Love became my light. I inhaled humility and exhaled tranquility. Every day, all I want is more and more and more. It became a habit. I realized that I am an addict, and that after all, me and my parents that didn't rear me, we are the same. Except that I'm just addicted to the right things. Addicted to the right things. Thank you, D Sweet, for hooking me up with this brother. I love you. Hey Shy, we gonna get together, baby. God got something better for us. Ooh wee.